Hey guys, so we got our brand new ignition lock assembly here, and uh, if you noticed, once again, I kept the old wires, and just kept it simple, and it's something that's easier for you to do, and it's easier for the car. Um, like I said before, if it's something that doesn't need to be specifically fixed, don't attempt to fix it. Old wiring, old plastic parts, they don't do well if you go around monkeying with them. Um, instead of chasing down where these wires go, and they are perfectly good wires, um, just plug them into your new assembly. Just do it the easy way. Anyway, the, the important thing here is our key assembly is lighting up with an LED green light. As you can see, the key indicator is working. We hear it beeping away at us while we're working here. Let's see. All right, and then um, it changes tone. I believe that's the accessories. Yeah, as you can see, Air conditioner is working nicely. Everything's lighting up on the dash here. Um, and then we're going to switch it over and try and start this vehicle here. And boy, does this thing rattle. But you know what? It starts. And that's the important thing right there. We got one cylinder that's not firing or something. Hopefully it'll come back. But uh, hey, this is not auto shop. This is automotive locksmithing. And if you guys can hear in the background, the car is running, everything appears to be working nice. So the only thing left to do is to re-bolt this guy into place. Now obviously we're going to shut off our car. And then uh, this one takes two hands. Bring it to the key re retract position right here. And then once again all we're going to do is just re-bolt it exactly where it is. Um, there's some stuff that I can't show you on film. Here's an interesting thing, uh, th this is one thing that uh, I will tell you about because there's no way that I could demonstrate this actually on camera. But remember that little pin that goes into our steering column here. Install this ignition in the locked position. Install this ignition without the key in it. Because that pin needs to line up with that hole in that steering assembly. So it's very important, there it is that that pin drops right into that hole and it does so on center. It doesn't hang up or anything like this. A lot of times they're self-aligning but leaving that pin out is just going to make sure that you put it in the right position and then once you do that then it's time to tighten everything up and if you want to save those bolts obviously I've given you the instructions on how to save them and if you want to use them put a nice notch in them something that you can really crank it down healthy with and then um, a little Loctite never hurts and um, I would say put some lubricant on here but you know it's probably sitting in grease internally already so there's really no reason to to go back and do something probably got some decent automotive grease on it anyway that's about all folks and uh, we'll show one more video of everything being put back together